It's a titan of a figure. Let's have a look. Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Area 51. Welcome back to an unboxing of an item that I had heard about, but I never really hunted it down. Now, this week I went down to my favorite store, Toy Traders in Langley, and uh, bought myself some stuff, uh, some retirement presents for myself, and I found this. Uh, this is the uh, Titanfall uh, Atlas Soldier, and this was released in 2014 with a game. This was a um, collector's edition. You got the statue, the game, a book, and a poster. Uh, and at the time, I do believe the entire thing was $250. Um, I never actually saw it come here uh, in my neck of the woods, and I really wasn't a Titanfall guy. No, I do have the game, and I'll be upfront and honest, I have not played the game yet. I plan on it. I actually have Titan and Titanfall 2. I have them both. I love mechs. If you know anything about me, I love mechs. This was done by EA Arts, and uh, it is absolutely fantastic. It is... Uh, uh, Joe Emsley is the uh, lead designer and sculptor on this, and it is an absolutely amazing piece. This is number 26855 out of 35,000, so there was 35,000 collector boxes when it came up, and uh, this is an absolutely amazing mech. Now, one other thing it does, it has lights. So you can see the blue light is on there, and if you press it again, you get a red light. And uh, he lights up, uh, this lights up up here as lo along with the eyes, and this generator lights up as well. I'll give you guys some close-up views of this. This is an absolutely fantastic uh, statue. It is PVC. It has two soldiers down here, and it has a rebel up here. And uh, again, I, I may be missing some points in this because I have not played the game, but this is stunning. The statue alone now sells for around 400 American. Um, I got lucky on this. It came in, uh, sat on their shelf for about 15 minutes, and I came, showed up, and uh, they gave me a, a very good deal on it, and I was very happy to get it. But what an absolute beauty. I have not played this game, but I, I really want to. I mean, you just can't imagine how nice this is. He stands 19 and a half inches tall, which is basically 20 inches tall by the time you're done, and he's almost as wide at his widest point. So this is a space eater. If you do not have the space, uh, you really gotta think this will not fit the Detolf anywhere in a Detolf, maybe on the top. Uh, this will probably go in a Besta or a Stuva or whatever you've got, but it definitely will not uh, fit in a uh, Detolf because it simply won't be able to shut the door. Um, the, the work on this is stunning and amazing. This is one of the nicest um, statues for a, an edition release for a game that I think you could possibly find, and it, it just fits so well in my collection. Now, right now, he's going to have to go on the floor because I just don't have any room for him, but he is absolutely a beautiful statue. So what I'm going to do right now, you guys, is I'm going to bring you in and show you some of the close-up views of this guy. Uh, and what's nice about the light-up feature, it stays on for about 30 seconds and then it just goes completely off. So um, the design of this is amazing. Uh, they obviously uh, did a lot of design work off the game. Uh, there is the uh, decals and markings all over the place. There's no step. Uh, there's all the markings there. Uh, there's all of the uh, brand name, uh, you know, the IF. 747. It's just done so beautifully. And because of that, I'm going to get you guys in a little closer and we'll discuss it a little closer as we get in. So let's go to it.
So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the absolutely beautiful Titan, uh, Titanfall Atlas, uh, the Warrior, I guess you want to call it. And uh, it looks absolutely beautiful. This is done by EA Sports. This is uh, 26855 out of 35,000. Collector's edition from 19, or 2014, so this is six years old. These are getting harder to find, um, and they're getting more and more expensive. So if you have the ability to grab one of these, I would do it as quickly as possible. You can see that it lights up. It's red. If you push the button again, it's blue. Um, the gentleman on the top lights up. Uh, the uh, mech itself lights up, and then the power generator down below lights up. Uh, very nice piece. Very big, almost 20 inches high, just about as wide. Uh, heavy, I'd say about 7-8 pounds. The whole box ships out at 20 pounds with everything in a game book and everything else. I didn't get the game, I didn't get the book. I do have the game, I bought it separately. I, don't, I didn't get the book, but I think it looks absolutely stunning. Uh, just a little treat I got myself for my retirement, and I think it's worth every penny because I love these mechs. Anyways, thank you ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think. Uh, thank you for stopping by and having a look at the Area 51, home of the superheroes and mechs and just about everything else. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.